Hello and welcome to Ilagan Whiteboard Friday where we look at various tax and compliance related issues in a user friendly fashion. Today we will look at a very important topic called cash flows and how to manage it. Actually cash is the king in any business so you need cash to run the business. Without cash it is actually really challenging to think how a business can survive. Uh, many times, uh, at least at the initial stage, when the company is fast growing and you need a lot of resources, cash is always short. So it requires a better cash management techniques and better ways to prevent cash so that you can run longer in the business and start making a decent cash flow. One of the important factors uh, which we uh, oh, tend to overgo or overlook uh, many times is recording the accurate data so we don't follow a proper accounting system based on that the data is not very accurate that is in hand of the management to take decisions as to what where we are what has to be done and how to mitigate future risks so you should start recording the data in a proper format using proper tools where you would actually come to know what is your current cash flows, how the behavior has been, how much credits you have been offering, how much delay there has been into your, uh, uh, once you raise the invoice, how much delay you get to uh, get the payments, where you are spending much, what are the ways to reduce those costs and expenses. So start recording the data accurately, then if you are into uh, start negotiating your purchases or credits, so if you are purchasing any item, try to see if you can get a longer period to make the payment or you get installments to make the payment. A lot of suppliers would be happy to support you with a higher credit period or, uh, or try to get very good prices for your purchases so that you can actually reduce your cash outflows. Controlling expense is very important. So if you are spending and bleeding at a faster rate than how you are getting money, then you would run out of cash very shortly and then your business would start bleeding. So control the expenses, you should look at innovative compensation uh, techniques. For example, uh, employees are certainly very very important. So you cannot run a business without employees. Uh, you can look at innovative ways of compensating them. It may not be just cash payments. You can look at equity, you can look at performance incentives, delayed bonuses or you may even look at ki once the company reaches a certain milestone you give them a better salary rather than giving up front some average salaries and all so you should be looking at all innovative compensation ways and see how you can also make the employee connected to the business rather than just a cash up front payments and all Continue to raise your invoices on time and also follow up for payments so once you have raised the invoice don't just uh, leave there, uh, you also follow up to get the payment so that the cash inflows is always there in the in the business. Many people think if there is a hefty bank, bank balance, uh, that's also a hefty cash balance, but bank balance and cash balance are two different things, um, depending on what kind of business you are in. And uh, if you don't have proper accounting data, this could be a very misleading figure. Bank balance you always reconcile based on your accounting data key where and how it is mapping to cash whereas cash balance is the actual cash which is available for running the business. So don't just look at your bank statement it has a good balance and so you are happy and you do have a lot of cash that's not true. It could be somebody's loan it could be uh, somebody's other payment which you, or some other liabilities that is sitting on the bank. So don't don't confuse between bank and cash balance try keep having cash projections so always think what's going to happen in the future so again recording accurate data would help you to uh, to give you some projections of the future ki how the business is heading what uh, strategies needs to be done because you cannot do this on a day-to-day -day basis you need to take some short-term measures some long-term and some medium term as well so Keep your keep doing your projections. Do your budgeting and see how you are faring with that. Um, so cash projections uh, are very important so that you know uh, you can try to predict key how the business is going. And based on that, if any inputs is needed or any changes are needed, you can make them. 
So these are some ways you, you can actually improve your cash flows and remember cash is very very crucial so uh, do, do follow some of the cash management techniques seriously otherwise you can seriously jeopardize your business. That's it on Nilagan Whiteboard Friday today. Thanks for attending this. Feel free to uh, drop us an email at uh, support at ilagan.com for any queries that you may have or even uh, you can check out our knowledge base at ilagan.com public KB. Thank you.